I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some excellent questions on solving equations. This time we have taken up absolute function. You need to solve x square minus 7 absolute x minus 8 equals to 0. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Let us consider this equation once again. The equation is x square minus 7 absolute x minus 8 equals to 0. Now x square is always positive so I could also write this as absolute x whole square right minus 7 absolute x minus 8 equals to 0. Now we can make a substitution we can substitute let us say uh, some variable let's say a equals to absolute x right in that case a square will be equals to absolute x whole square correct okay? so let's make this substitution and then see what happens so absolute x square becomes a square so you could write this as a square minus 7a minus 8 equals to 0 now that becomes a quadratic equation correct okay? so we could now factor this product as minus 8 sum as minus 7 we could write this as a minus 8 times a plus 1 equals to 0. Now that gives you two solutions. One, when a minus 8 equals to 0, let me write, that is a equals to 8. And the other one, when a plus 1 equals to 0, that is a equals to minus 1. So these are possible solutions for the given condition, right? Now let's look into these conditions. Are both possible or not? Okay. So what do we have? We had the substitution that a is equals to absolute x. That means a has to be greater than or equal to 0. So the two solutions are a equals to 8 and the other one is a equals to minus 1. So this is not possible, right? This is not possible since we have a is absolute value. It has to be greater than 0, right? So, so the valid answer is only a equals to 8, right? So a equals to 8 is valid solution, right? So I hope you understand this part. Now what is a equals to? a is absolute x. So we can write this as absolute x equals to 8 and that means x is equals to plus minus 8, correct? So we have two solutions to this equation, plus minus 8. So we can write down our answer as x equals to plus minus 8. I hope these steps are absolutely clear. You can always go through this video once again and understand the intricacies involved, especially the substitution which we did. And we treated this equation as a quadratic equation in absolute x, right? That's the beauty of this question. I hope you appreciate it. You can always like my videos, share and subscribe them, and feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.